So this space doesn't have to be like that, which is fine. Kind of like that. And I do this. And then I could jump up from this side. Now I would want probably a bottle of water from here. These didn't need to be insulated because I have to delete these later. Damn, that was a waste of time. Eh, I guess it's fine though. New printables. Steel, I'm taking that. Alright, so this is sweep only water. We'll take the 100 grams. Drop that off. Once that's ready, we'll have to deconstruct this. Wait, what? Oh, that's the wrong one? Feels bad, man. Alright, take 30 grams. Nah, I need more than that. Sweep. 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 Please. Drop it off here. Ah, drop it off here. Come on. Ah, feels bad. All right, taking off water from this. Come on, man, right here. Y'all got me. Eighty, eighty-two, seventy-five. I just need a water drop on this tile and on this tile. Oh, I didn't get it on this tile? Oh, what a travesty. That's very unfortunate. All right, so the next thing I could do is... Do it like this. I have a strat for this. I need to get the water tile on this tile. So, we're waiting for someone to pick up the water bottle, take it there. Now we slow down the time, back down to 1x speed. And what we need to do is have them drop off the water. Pause. The water is there. We uncheck it. So the water drops, deconstructs, and then we empty out the water bottle. So I need water on that tile specifically. Ah, so close. So far, so good with the suits. I do want to get some more docks here. So how many is this right now? We have 12, 14. Let's go for a solid 15. That's how many we have anyways. I could probably go with one more later. Let's get the power connected as well. And then once that's connected, we can remove a couple of uh, conductive wires. All right, so the water's there. So this allows me to do basically this. I should be able to build all these because I could open the doors. And then by building this out, I am deleting the gas. And then I have a vacuum on this tile. And then I have a way to go in and out now. All right, that should be fair. I need to relocate that. And then this is bleach stone. We can also put the slime in here. So slime nine, poppy on most of them. The last one over here is going to be bleach stone. All right, this is gonna be pea dirt all around. And then the slime drops. I also do that and just deconstruct the bins. Should be all right. So they'll move all the slime to here, all the bleach stones to there, and I'll stop off gassing. Now back to here, put a tile onto there. That's going to be oxygen. We'll remove that. And then, yeah, put a tile on this tile and then deconstruct it. And then we could go inside and build our setup. Now, the additional pipelines we need is 
like this. Once we have that, I could deconstruct partially on the corner. And I could also put a tile there to prevent heat transfer. But it probably doesn't matter, because it's going to be cooler up top. And having this cool down the bottom probably helps us out. So I probably, yeah, do this. And then we do it like that, so there's no ethanol stuck in there. Tile there. And then we delete the oxygen tile, and then hopefully the water stays. And then after that, we should be good. And then we'll have a door crusher setup. Uh, automation's gonna be a little bit interesting. Because I think we could keep the automation in here. Don't know if it's actually possible, though. So we're using a timer sensor. I think we could just use a timer sensor. I don't need to use a element sensor. We just have it crush by itself. It might lag us a little bit more, though. But I guess it's fine. That means I need a buffer gate right here. And then we wait for that to be built. All right, man. Off to lurk. 2.20 a.m. for me. Gotta travel tomorrow, too. Great stream, as always. Thank you for being here, Cyberdyne. Thank you for hanging out. Appreciate you guys that do hang out, man. Because it's like having someone to talk to. It's just a nice time. <laughs> so thank you so much, man. Just for hanging out. Appreciate you. And of course, hope you have a good night of rest. If you need the energy for tomorrow, man. Dude. We'll give you our energy for tomorrow as well. <laughs> but have a good one, Cyberdyne. Rest well, rest easy. Alright, so I should be able to remove this now. And the top. And then the bottom. We could actually connect. Because that's going to force a red signal. So I can't do anything up top yet. I could put something here. Right, and that's fine. And then we have that set up. We have plumbing, liquid vents. And then we have a timer sensor. I will actually not connect the timer yet. I do want the wire there. And then I need the pipeline to go like that. And then, ooh. Oh no, I could just, yeah. I need to do this. And I can't do anything like that there. Alright, so... The best thing for me to do is basically uproot this and deconstruct this. And build a ladder there temporarily. Alright. It's a vacuum. Looks good. I don't want that rotating yet. Because I need to be able to open the door still. Alright, so the polluted water could start going into there soon. Once we have that built, we could remove the ladder, put back the weasel wart. I want to sweep those items so that we have a nice clean area. Ethanol is going to be running until we fill up both reservoirs again. And then this room. The vacuum and non-vacuum. Let's at least remove the pipeline first. And then we'll mop up the liquids. And then we'll start setting up our industrial brick right here. That, you know, that I want to have. I might keep this as a vacuum. Who knows? Alright, the guy's not in space. I guess that's fine. Is our bathrooms cool? They look to be okay. Bathroom water is okay. Reservoirs are not filling up too fast yet. And then... Oh, I, this part. Alright, this part's gonna be funny. So... Huh. Okay, so I have to do it like that. Feels bad. So we want to zigzag this so that the cold water kind of maintains the temperature right here. Because the kitchen is going to always be hot from cooking. And then afterwards, the pipeline water goes into this build. 
and this is the intake. So the clean water comes out here, and we want the dirty water to go into there. So that should be fine. We have a lot of polluted water anyways. It comes from a geyser. Hopefully this starts lowering the temperature. We are using regular pipelines because we want the heat transfer to take place, but we don't want to absorb too much. Clean water, let's go! We could use the bathroom and wash our hands. I'm down with that. All right. Not bad, not bad. So we don't have... Oh, it has to... Uh, I see. So this is down to 15. So we could go up to 20. So the water comes out faster. That's kind of what we want. A steady flow if possible. Alright, that should be fine. Back to here, is this ready? Still a vacuum? Dude, I think we're good. So, from here, the only thing I need is this piece. And someone, whoever builds this is gonna get stuck inside 100% of the time. He didn't get stuck? What a legend. What an actual legend. <laughs> what an actual legend. He didn't get stuck inside. Holy crap. Alright, so from there we want to seal this up. This should delete the water regardless of... Well, if I build the bottom one first, it should push the water out. And then we'll remove that and we'll have a door crusher set up. Not too bad. Dude, this is just a lot of pee water. You know what I- Oh, that actually works. I could do it like that. Oh, yeah. And then reverse the flow and dump the water into there. So I don't have to deal with this at all. <laughs> all right. Good stuff. This is built properly. So pause. We'll slow it down. Have that connect. The buffer is going to be three seconds. And this is going to be a seven seconds. Seven seconds. I don't need to be that fast. So, if we have a rate of 10 kilograms per second, and I want to crush 500 over two tiles, that's a thousand. So 10 times divided by 2,000 is what, 200? 200 seconds? Now, this is not giving me efficient though. So 200 seconds, let's go with 300. So 300, 300. I can't bring myself to ever delete anything. I always do infinite storage. Dude, this is hot water though. 58 degrees, I can't use that for the metal refinery. I feel you with that. Saving the CO2 for the rockets could be a thing though. Oh, and I never connected this. Sometimes you want the soda fountain water, man. I need a rocketry researcher. That's what I'm looking for. All right, now we need gas pipelines. And I need to make six suits. Shouldn't be too bad, shouldn't be too bad. So I have way too much CO2 though, Cthulhu. Y'all see this? I have way too much CO2. I have ethanol distilleries going on, man. Man, of CO2 is gonna be crazy. All right, so this should be fine now. It's on the signal setup. So what I should do is cut that and then have that connect this way and then have the exhaust of this come in that way. So we just dump all the pee water. And then it will open close soon enough. 
actually, it should be 300, and then this should be 10 seconds. That way it happens twice a cycle, roughly. Not bad, not bad. There it is. Hey, got him, deleted. Got him, boys. Good stuff, good stuff. That got straight deleted. All right, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. This is gone, this is gone. All the power is fine. I bridge across so that this doesn't consume the power. Not really too mad about that. Let's go. All right, so, oops. Deconstruct this and that. The power here is fine. Uglar vis you too, huh? I see you guys over there. Nothing wrong with, with doing that, though. Nothing wrong with doing that. Alright. I think this should be a second. A second setup like that. I don't mind deleting junk air to empty out a room. Yo, man. It's just, it's just more convenient. I don't know why. <laughs> it's like, you, you want to move this gas? Just delete it, man. It's not worth the time. I'm still manually clicking deliver. Feels bad, man. Alright. This is rolling, boys. This is starting to get pretty hot, though. I wonder if there's a way for me to release the heat in a better way. That's junk air to me. I see you, man. I see you. Alright. It's probably worthwhile to put a radiant pipe on that tile. Because I don't think it's ever going to boil to 120. So this should just help out by cooling it down a little bit. And the Slicksters are not consuming the CO2 fast enough. You hate to see this kind of thing happen. They just can't keep up, man. Can't keep up. That's fine. Is the guy dead? Nope. He is alive. Alright, so uh, we'll send one guy for databanks. And then I needed a, another duplicate with rocket piloting. Oh, that was Mr. Arrow Capital Fellow, right? Yeah, we gotta send him. Oh, we didn't finish building the insides yet. So we gotta do that. This is gonna be oxygen so that we could breathe inside. And then we should be good. I wish Slixers ate more CO2 and made more oil per creature. Dude, you know what's funny? A lot of the times, people say the opposite. Well, not really. They, they go, I underestimate how much CO2 a Slickster actually consumes. That's usually what I hear, to be honest. Like, man, those Slicksters, man. They consume a lot of CO2. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's a good thing, right? Nah, that was a problem. <laughs> like, what? I hate how I have mud right here. I'm going to want to sweep that. I spy a familiar name here. Oh, you know Uglar Vis, Razor Smash? Did you know Uglar Vis's name means cute fish? It's in, a, it's in a language that I don't understand, but I was told that's what it means. All right, the ladders could be there, I suppose. This is uh, not bad right now, though. Not bad. That I didn't know, but nah. But I do know them. Uh, I do know them from another stream. Oh, I see you guys. I see you guys. So I'm gonna break the vacuum by replacing these with insulated tops. <laughs> it's gotta do what you gotta do. I see you guys. I see you guys over there. All 
All right, so we're making a new liquid lock because this is going to be where the steam turbines are going to be. And then we're going to have our heat generating buildings right here. I think it should be fine. Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, if there's gas in here or not, it doesn't really matter. Because I'm going to put steam turbines up top, so there's going to be active cooling in here. So I'm, I'm fine with the milligrams of oxygen. Because I'm going to put a layer of water underground as well. The fact that it's a vacuum or not a vacuum doesn't really matter too much, so I was okay with it. I see you over there, the Mordex. That would have been a good solution. Alright, so... Alright, we'll still pump it a little more. Because the, the, the level of the chlorine and CO2 is dropping. So it makes me want to keep pumping. It makes me want to keep pumping. Alright, so we launched that guy, right? We got the plastic there. We have a lot of breathability. And we need to go to the outside. And this is going to be Mr. Arrow, Capital Fellow. And then crew. Let's go back outside. I think we're all good, right? Yeah, we're not waiting for anything. Yep. And we begin the launch. Alright, so we need to go there because uh, I want to check out the map. <laughs> I want to see if there's uranium anywhere. That'd be kind of convenient. Let's go. Hey, let's go. Mr. Arrow Capital Fellow. Alright, how long is that going to take? 0.4 cycles. That's not bad. Alright, alright. So far, so good. Rad bolts are okay. Ah, we could start mining this. I, th I think we mine out this chunk today. Shouldn't be too bad. Does mean I have to get rid of that. And I should want to sweep the ethanol. All right, 70 seconds, not too bad. So this guy, right? No, it's the other guy. What's your KCALs at? Oh, it's at a thousand, okay. It's time to send him back home before I forget. Might, might cause some problems if we don't do that. 20 seconds, we'll wait for that. So we're gonna want to deploy the rover as soon as we can. All right, so... Oh, there's a ladder! Whoa, there's an entrance? Dude, there's an entrance! How am I going to say no to that? I'm, I'm dropping off right here, man. And he's there. Okay, cool. Now we're going home. Dude, that's tight. <laughs> they gave me an entrance. <laughs> All right, first thing you need to do, deconstruct that. So we could drop down all of these tiles. Sedimentary rocks. Okay, so we want to mine that and then go inside. And then we want to go down. Oh, that's mud. Uh, I'll deconstruct the tile instead. I don't want the polluted uh, water to get dropped in. I also want to seal this up so that the natural breathable gas does not, you know, get leaked out. Uh, I guess I could mine all that and try to build tiles. Dude, we have gold here. Oh, that's so sweet. Dude, gold amalgam. I get the plus 50 overheat now. That's actually amazing. All right. So gold's going to be nice. So now that we have that... We're going to need to somehow get to the bottom. So probably like this. And then from here, I could go up and down, no problem. 
Nice. Gold cobalt volcanoes, yeah, exactly. Cthulhu knows. Infectious polluted oxygen vent. Oh, this is the 60 degree one. I had a request recently. Someone wanted me to do a 500 degree polluted oxygen vent. I think the hot one. I was like, man, maybe we could do that. Dude, my calories are stacking up to the ceiling, though. 800,000 kcals of meal lice? Jesus Christ. That's a lot of meal lice. I guess that's what happens when you have proper food storage. Don't have to worry about that stuff anymore. Alright, I think that's going to be time for this power line. We're just going to get rid of it. This as well. We'll leave the pipeline there, though. We'll leave the pipeline there. I might have to just pull it down a little bit lower for the next part. Okay. So, this is good. That means I could do that. I cut that line. I have that connect, I guess. And then I'll have more oil storage. Also, this pipeline is no longer necessary. And I could also cut it... Oh, no, it's auto-save lag. Cut it from the side. Nice. Cool, cool. So... Oh, they can't reach that. That's why. <laughs> no one's building it. They can't reach. So this ladder probably need, needs to get replaced. I probably want the ladder here. Which means I do have to bop that. And then... That should be good. Oh, she's actually stuck. Oh, God. Oh, God. Give me a ladder right there, man. Oh, she almost caught it falling. Come on, dude. No. Someone save Ghost Rider. Uh, this is in brine and water. We'll probably take the water. Oh, this has to be oil. That's right. Because of how hot it's going to get. Oil or bust. We have oil, though. Hopefully, it's not too bad. Alright, she got out. Good stuff. And I will do that. We're just going to have to leave the volcano right there. Build around it. <sighs> Feels bad, man. Just building around the volcano. And then this is coming off of the combined wire, right? So yeah, I could actually deconstruct this now. Because we're out of hydrogen. So, let's get rid of it. Alright, alright. Power is set. Let's start making the rooms. I wish there was a copy layout button for the interior. I wish there was a copy layout button. So... Yeah, so we need to do the... I think it's like this, and like that. Haha, -ha, yes. One, two, three, this goes up. Who's starving? What? Who's starving? No one's starving. Okay, cool. Both rockets are back. Oh, he was flying. Okay. Oh, is that... Is that grounded? I don't want someone going in here just to pee. That's not cool, man. Huh. It was better off having the pipeline go all the way else around. 
All right, we're going to change the other pipelines just to make it a little bit cleaner looking. Oh, but it's because I have to pop out. I guess that's fine. And then looking at this layout, four tiles from the window. One, two, three, four. Get the plastic bed on top, which is cool. And then this gets removed. It's not breathable inside yet. We'll get that soon. Natural oxifer, nice. Only way to do it, man. Okay, so oxygen has to be a little bit chank as well. That goes out to there. And then the other tiles are plastic. Because we have a ladder right here, right? And then it's... Wait. Oh, it's above it. Ah, so it's like this. And then it's a granite tile, door, and then a plastic tile there. Okay. This is going to be a wall toilet. Like that, yeah. So I got to remove the ladders. And then we do have a bed in here. The... That's in. So here, here, here. This is going to be a door. And then we'll finish that soon. We also need to deconstruct this tile. One, two, three. Oh, I can't reach it. Oh, it feels bad. I need a ladder here. I could reach this tile, though. And then the bottom floor right here is all solid. Plumbing goes like that. Must be built on the corner on the ground. Wow. So I have to finish the tiles first. Feels bad. And then we have our sink. Liquid pipe. We would deconstruct that. Alright. Not too bad. I need a copy layout button, man. I really do. Gotta get rid of that ladder as well. And it's breathable in here now. Now I do also need a pit. So I will put this here now. And the... Storage pit. We'll wait for everything else to be built first. The blueprint mod can help you with that. Oh man. So, so the blueprint mod. I have a weird relationship on it. Someone roasted me. And... It was like the stupidest comparison of all time they were saying that me not supporting the blueprint mod is the same thing as me not supporting disabled people and they were trying to shame me for doing that on youtube it was the craziest wildest take i've ever seen in my life and it's because i said that i didn't like the blueprint mod <laughs> It was, it was wild, man. YouTube be wild sometimes. They were claiming that the people that were not mentally there could still play the game and have fun because they're able to just download other people's builds and then use that blueprint and build it. And I was like, Yo, man, you got issues, man. Like that's, that's not even a comparison you could actually make. It's crazy, man. As a disabled person, they could kick rocks, dude. I don't know, man. I think maybe they had a bad day and they weren't thinking about what they were typing because that is a wild take. And I was like, yo, man, YouTube, wild, man. No filter over there. 
Of course, I had to delete the comment because I was like, I got to save this guy from embarrassment. But I still got the email message with the original comments. <laughs> oh, man. I did. I had to, I had to remove the message because I didn't want to put that on anyone else. It was just wild though because that was that was that was one of the first comments because that was commented on the first VOD playthrough I started on. So on YouTube, I didn't upload all my VODs to it, but when I started, you know, uh, you know, starting runs and then uploading to YouTube at the same time, I started uploading my VODs. That happened on my very first VOD while I was still in the character selection screen. Rolling for duplicates. It's crazy, man. You got some wild takes out there. Alright, we'll get that. And then inside... This is good. We got the pipelines built. We could finally put in the toilet in the corner. This is going to the left. And then, gotta get that statue, man. Gotta get that granite statue. Thanks for saving the rest of your viewers from that grossness. It's crazy, man. Sometimes you gotta wonder how that happens. But it's, it's like, dude. COVID has, has torn a lot of people up. Not thinking straight, things like that. Oh, <gasps> the cuddle pip squeaks alive? Where's my babies? Oh, there it is. It meows, dude. Y'all hear that? Did you guys hear it meow? It sounded like Mamba, dude. Come on. Where's the meows? I heard you, dude. He's not meowing anymore. It feels bad. Mamba heard his name. Like, what's happening? Well... I gotta get comfy, so I'm gonna turn this way and plop. Nice. Alright, man. It looks like when you're looking at the pipsqueak, they don't meow. So I go away and I come back. Come on, Cuddle Pip. We gotta hear the muse. Oh, this guy just pooped. I saw that, man. Oh, there's a young one over there, too. Oh, man. They're so different. This one has shorter ears than the pink one. Feels bad. All right, all right. We leave them alone. Ooh, a lime. I'm taking that. Researcher. Not a rocket pilot, though. Oh, and how is my... Uh... Oh, he did that. Nice. So, we... Stop the off-gassing from happening excessively, which is pretty good. Next thing we got to do is start navigating through the area. So we're just going to go straight down. Because there's no reason to, you know, go any other way. So we'll just go straight down for now. Do your ears hang low? Do they wiggle and fro? I see you over there, deep fried peanut butter. I remember when that song came out in middle school. Dude, that's 20 years ago, man. Holy crap. Is that song really 20 years old? I remember when land centers were still a thing. Y'all, did you guys ever go to a land center? Y'all know what I'm talking about? Have any of you guys ever been to a land center? Oh, I, I can't do that. It's like that. There we go. Land. Yeah, land center. Where you go to a spot that had good internet. So that you could play, you know, whatever you wanted to play on the computer at their spot. So it would be like, oh, you know, what was big when I was young was Counter-Strike 1.6 and Diablo. So we would literally go play together. We'll, 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 you know, just go in pub or go in and uh, 
level with each other, do uh, bail runs, things like that. So a land center was a spot designated for that. So we used to have those over here where I live. Of course, they went out of business because once internet became commercialized and everyone got DSL, no one wanted to go anymore. But that was the initial reason that because the internet wasn't good enough, you would want to go for that. I've been to land parties. Yeah, land center is a place that has just a lot of computers there. And yeah, that's that's the song, man. That song and get low share the same neuron in my brain. <laughs> oh man. All right. Is this going to be large enough? I hope it is. We're going to seal this up right here. The window to the wall. It'd be like that sometimes. I see you guys over there in chat. I see you guys over there in chat. All right, so we got a good amount of distance. Uh, let's see what we have right here. This is a cobalt volcano. Sure. This is a infectious 60 degree polluted oxygen. Sure. And this is polluted water. 30 degrees. That's really good, actually. I prob... Oh, uranium right there. All right, we're going to the left. I'm going to have that oxalite tapped. Don't know if that's a good thing or not. That's a lot of metal, though, that I might want to come into mine. Also, there's a dude that dances to Chains Hang Low in a World of Dance comp, and it's brilliant. Oh, crap. World of Dance. That's a, that's, that, that was probably like the first YouTube video I saw. The evolution of dancing. And it's 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 it looks like straight up like Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> like straight up it reminded me of Napoleon Dynamite, man. Not gonna lie. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man? It's that very old school, old school uh video, I guess the first vile video that we really know of. Oh, my 13-year-old cheer team did a routine to get low. Wait, wait, wait. Are you saying your kids or when you were 13? <laughs> Yo, that's, that's really different. That was, that, was, that was when you were 13, right? Because I can't imagine kids picking out that song nowadays. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't feel like a hip song for the kids. When I was 13, ah, I see you. Yo, man, do you cringe every time you go to sleep and you have flashbacks of that event? <laughs> you, guys know, you guys know what I'm talking about, man. Like, when you're about to go to sleep and you're alone with your thoughts and it's like you remember all the cringes moments in your life. <laughs> like, like, it, like, for lack of better words, that's kind of how it was. It's like, oh, man. You remember that day, man? I was like, oh, I don't, I don't want to remember it, but I kind of remember it. Not as uh, bad as my friend's eight-year-old niece going boom, 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 like that one song, and her dad instantly go, yeah, no, the hour of suffering, oof, man. Dude, isn't that the song from? Uh... Black Eyed Peas? That's Black Eyed Peas, right? Was that song that bad? Alright, so because of the wires, I want to redo it. Gotta make the wires look good, right? So, one, two, three. We'll just have that built first. And then, of course, one, then two, and then three. Have that all reconnect. Shouldn't be too bad.
wrong. That's the wrong song. Oh shit. Is is that the uh dance dance revolution version? <laughs> That's what that sounds like, man. Oh, ah, damn it. Z map is glitched. There we go. Fix the glitch. Let's go, let's go. Don't know. All good, all good. Alright, so we gotta fill that up. Now, for the time being, we're still gonna have to pump this out. But I think it shouldn't be too bad. Hey, the butterfly song from DDR. <laughs> That's got to be one of the more famous ones. That and like Captain Jack. Everyone knows Captain Jack, right? I'm not alone on that. I hope I'm not alone on that. Y'all know Captain Jack? <laughs> I feel like I am alone on that. Okay, geek knows, geek knows. That's what's up. That's what's up. Not, not, no, no, it's a song. Hey, yo, Captain Jack. Hey, yo, Captain Jack. It goes like that. Cthulhu knows. Hey, deep fried peanut butter as well, man. It's an old school, old school song, man. Back on the uh, DDR days. So this goes into here, which is fair. No, it doesn't. What the hell? Well, it should be fine, which means I don't need that. And this goes straight, and that goes straight. So potentially, it's like that, and then it's like that. I think that's fine. Oh, God, I haven't heard that song in a decade at the early... Dude, it's a long time, man. That's an old school song. Mad old school. Oh, wow. I didn't know that song was on DDR. Deep fried peanut butter. Hey, I'll love this. I see you over there. Thank you so much for the 50 bits. Mama did not hear that. Otherwise, he'd be angry at uh, the other cats in his territory. Oh, it's not on the DDR proper. Okay, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Dude, I had I had like the weirdest relationship with Dance Dance Revolution, man. The weirdest relationship. It, it was one of the games that I loved playing at home, but I was never able to muster up enough courage to play in public. Like, like real talk, man. That's how it felt. Like, DDR was cool, but it wasn't cool enough that you would want to do DDR in front of the public, other people, because, you know, you weren't that good. Well, that was me. <laughs> so I was like, I wanted to do it, but I was like, man, I got to dance in public. <laughs> I, I couldn't bring myself to do it, man. It'd be one of those days. I shadow danced to the freeware game when I couldn't afford the arcade. Ah... Pipes gone wild. Yo, man, no pipes. Wait. What's happening? Oh, the ice melted. I have ice melts. Oh, it feels bad. All right, we got to mop it up, boys. Oh, too much liquid in the tile. Oh, it feels bad. I mean, if you believe some artists, it's tricky to rock a rhyme that's right on time. It's tricky? Yes. I shadow dance to the freeware game when I couldn't afford the arcade. I see, I see. I sadly was that good once upon a lifetime. That's, that's not bad. Nothing wrong with it. I, I was just never good enough to do it. I actually have mild damage to my hip and knee from the DDR days. Oh, dude. You didn't have the bar to hold on to? Dude, you needed that, man. You needed that sometimes. 
on the on the days you wanted to attempt Pandora. Y'all remember Pandora? The hardest track in the game. <laughs> Dude, that's old school, man. He's like, alright, man. We gotta go. Alright, let's let's try to beat Pandora. All right, let's go. Last song. <laughs> and it's like, we know we're going to lose on Pandora, dude. But we did it anyways. You know, sometimes you get lucky and you beat the level. Not not, not like you get a high score or anything like that. Just beat the level. Dude, that, that was basically Pandora, dude. That was basically Pandora. That's the equivalent, yeah. All right, so I delete that, and I delete this, delete that, cancel. So all of that is disconnected. Delete, 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 delete. And then this goes straight across. And then we could remove these lines now. Nice. My heart rate isn't raising up just from uh, the memory of that song. Dude. If you appreciate it, Dance Dance Revolution, I would recommend checking out the... They, they had another dance game that was on a dance mat. And it was done by a guy that uh, did it on GDQ. I think it was like a couple years ago. I would highly recommend watching that. Because, dude, he played a song that only five people have completed. It was a song that's so fast, such high BPM, that the normal people was just not able to complete it. And there's only records of five different individuals actually able to complete the level. Not even getting a high score, just completing it and not dying along the way. And, dude, he did it live. Dude, it was insane. It was, it was insane. It was a show, man. I, and it was, um, I forgot, I, I remember the runner's name. The runner's name was Happy Feet. And it's, it's, it makes sense if he's playing a Dance Dance Revolution game and his name is Happy Feet. It's very fitting. <laughs> but yeah, I forgot the name of the game. But yeah, they sped ran it and that was uh, kind of one of the results. I thought it was awesome. Oh, the natural food processor. They're just going to eat all the Saturn Critter Traps. They're just going to eat all the bee tinies, man. Feels bad. So this right here, the Saturn Critter Trap, cannot eat flying critters. But they could eat the babies, though. And it looks like they already ate, uh, eaten two of them. Feels bad, man. Looks like that's for dinner. All right, that's going to bring us down. There's a lot of mud right there. I might want to go to the left side. And this is gold. Copper. I was close. That's what's for dinner. The bee's knees. I'll take that. All right, so this is somewhat ready. We just got to move some of the things into inside now. Now, I could move the smart battery to here. Where's the automation output? It's on the same tile. Okay. The beef commercials. What, what was that infamous commercial where you had the three grandmas uh, ordering a burger? And then they take out the top bun. And they go, where's the meat? And it's like a very small patty in the center and they couldn't see it. And it's like, I don't know, I can't see it. it's too small. And then it's, I think it's like, it was a fast food, I forget. What, what was that commercial about? I don't remember. I just remember like clips of that happening. I don't remember exactly what it was actually talking about. Where's the beef? Yeah, 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 yeah. What was that advertising? I don't remember. Oh, it was Wendy's. What the hell? Was it Wendy's? <laughs> Dude, I, I don't remember that at all, man. Holy crap. 
How's my dupe doing? Is he still happy? He was ranching for us a little bit earlier ago. Uglar Visk. But yeah. He is... Oh, wait, that's the wrong button. Here we go. He is 31 out of 7. You are maximum happiness right now. <laughs> so you only need to be plus 23 or something. I forget. Or is it plus 20? For you to uh, hit max uh, overjoyed reactions. So yeah, you're maximum happiness right now. Technically. Like, we can make you happier, but it's marginal at that point. A geek is alive. 25 out of 4. That's actually maximum happiness, too. You're uh, shearing some of the Drekos. You know how it would be. Alright, and you're out. I'm 547 days old. Not years, days. <laughs> These are days, man. Yo, 42 hours flat. Yep, your pay. Pay. P-E-P-E-I. -E -E I believe that's the original name. But yes, that is use. I need to do something with this water. Alright, so I need to seal this up. I don't want to put a heavy watt plate, though. Because there's no other way for me to do anything about that. But I guess we'll just set it up. So... We know that this is going to be a smart battery, so we'll move the transformers like this. Oh, it needs to be steel. Oh, crap. Years, days, whatever. Yo, man, that's how you know Uglarvis is immortal. He doesn't count the days anymore. That's a sign that someone is uh, living the immortal life. Remember that scene where uh, Brad Pitt says, Immortality, take it, it's yours. I'll see you over there, man. Back in my day, we didn't have the newfangled plastic ladders. Yo, man. That's because you guys cared about the environment. We're just building plastic cows out of nowhere. Because we don't give a damn. <laughs> That's messed up to say. We don't give a damn about this. That's why we got plastic everywhere. Alright, so... For... Decon... That goes out to here. Take the bridge. Take the one, two, three, one, two, three. That goes there. We get the plastic ladders over here. This is going to be plastic tiles. And then this gets removed. Hey, Uglarvis, what well, the gifts up to Razor Smash? Thank you so much, Uglarvis. Appreciate the support. And of course, welcome to the city, Razor Smash. You know what it is. Enjoy the emotes, the 20 times ad free viewing. Don't forget that legit sub bad. But welcome to the city. We got to remove the plastic tiles as well. All right, so we're setting up shop for the individual setups. And I believe we never moved the pip into here. Yeah, so we need to do this tile first. Want more electric for tubes? I want to be able to do party tricks. Ah, okay, okay. So we need to start making trans tubes, huh? We do have the power for that. I'm not really too worried about power. We got the sweet, sweet ethanol. How much wood? I'm out of wood. Oh, shit, fam. I'm out of wood. Oh, crap. No more consumption. I'm actually out of wood. Holy crap. Oh, man. 
The answer is all of it, yes. Alright. So... We could potentially move some Sweetles into here. And what they could do is rub the branches. So that the branches grow faster. That's actually something that can happen. But I would probably want the Grub Rubs. Now the thing with this is that I'm out of lumber, huh? If I don't have lumber, I don't really have power anywhere. Is there anything that's actively consuming a lot of power? Honestly, there's not. If I turn off the rad bolt, I should be okay. Alright, man, we gotta hope all of this lasts for a while. <laughs> Oh, that's going to be fun. Alright, is this also perfectly sized? Okay, one tile gap. I'm okay with that. We'll put that there, because we'll need it. And a bottle emptier, because we'll need that later. Alright, so... This is very unfortunate, but I got to do this now. So let's remove this because we have to. I'm going to have to remove the water. Ah, oh, crap. I think that just drips down, right? One, two. We have to go down this way now. And then we need the iron doors. Alright. One extra tile planned. Not really. I gotta say I got lucky, man. I would love to say this is all planned out, but I didn't. <laughs> Somehow, sometimes, the things just get to genius. That, that's, it'd be like that sometimes, man. Sometimes I just get lucky. Oh, shit. There we go. Yes! This guy's new. The pink pip. This guy's a baller. This guy is a baller. And what he will do is hug eggs. This one has not been hugged yet. Feels bad. There it is. He hugs the eggs. Let's go. Gotta hug the eggs sometimes, man. Only way to do it. So that's the new ability. The new Pip hugs the eggs, and he gives it the same buff as if you... Well, it's not the same buff, but, uh... Oh, no, actually it is. It's basically the Incubator buff. Well, no, the Incubator is 4x instead of 2x. So... You could actually stack this with the Incubator, and stack both of the buffs so your eggs hatch really fast. Oh, someone hugged them! Nice! He hugs the dupes, too. So when the Cuddle Pip hugs a dupe, they go on a uh, cuddling spree, and they hug all the eggs. It's actually pretty cool. I don't want plug slugs. Ranch rocketry. Come on, man. I need research rocketry. Alright, so now I could get rid of the power line right there. This is inside the tiles, but it should be fine. Deconstruct buildings. A really strong combo is Nature Reserve, Thimble Reeds, and Cuddle Pips. They have to run through. Yeah, that works. That works. But how do you move your eggs in and out of that room? <laughs> how do you move the eggs in and out of that room?
someone dying? Oh, he is. Oh, damn. Cyber and I should have reminded me. Drop through mesh door. Nomadic door. That actually could work. It allows your... Hmm. Oh, not, not worried about the eggs. That's true. That could be just, just for morale. Because it's like, if you do get the cuddle buff, you, you would probably want to put some eggs in there just for them to kind of benefit from it. If that makes sense. So that was what I was thinking. But technically, you could put the eggs in a nomadic door. No, the thing is, is that cuddle pips take a lot less space. They only take four tiles compared to the uh, pip counterpart that takes 12. So because of that, you could put more cuddle pips in a smaller area. And you're not going to get cramped because of that. But they do have a weird advantage like that. Whoa, I didn't know they needed less space. Ah, man. So I made a... I made a video that went over all of the changes, all of the new critters, how they work. And I got no views on it, man. I feel so gross when that happens. Because it's like I broke everything down that came with a new patch and no one watched the video. The, the, the messed up part was I made a video before that and it was talking about the it came out a long time ago so when the early access came out uh i made a video talking about how you go to the beta branch check it out and then after it became full release i released another video that went over all of the changes it came out I have some views on it and people talk about, oh yeah, thanks for the info. But for whatever reason, like no one saw it or something, but it's out there. It has views. It's just that it's very little compared to the original video and all that, even though it breaks down everything, all the new critters, all the mechanics for them, minimal water level, changes into egg space, how the cuddle pip mechanics work. Also talked about, um, the, the other critters like the sandy shell and the oak shell, the amount of liquids you need to have, how th they interact with each other. It's, it's, yeah. Feels bad. Feels bad. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Gotta check the settings, man. Alright, so there's no... Oh, there is water. Uh, we gotta make steel. And we got iron to burn through. Alright, so now that we have that, this is mine down, the guy is back. How is Rover? I might as well utilize the power that he has, right? Oh, another beta farm. Nice. So the Rover is... Is he alive? Is Rover dead? Y'all see him, man? Oh, he's dead! Ah, man, it was, he was trying to go to the solar power charge. Didn't install the solar power. It kind of sucks that the Reddit sub doesn't allow most videos because it means that you can't post helpful videos like that. Yeah, feels bad, man. Feels bad. I don't like the self-promote like that, though. The bees, the bees aren't sealed off. Oh, these guys are going to die. No. These guys are actually going to die. Oh, man. Yeah, these bees are going to die. These are going to live, though. But a lot of them are going to be eaten by the uh, Saturn Critter Traps. Well, at least we got steel up here for the next landing. So that we can make a rocket platform somewhat soon. All right, we don't have to pay attention to that for now. All right, so now what we want to do is... Man, yeah, we just got to move a pip. So this guy... This is priority nine. With the pips, nice. 
this is going to be Arbory Coins. Nice. We'll drop that on the ground. And then inside of here, we got to drop off a pip as well. But they can't go in, so we got to go like that. Deconstruct this carpet tile as well. And then I got to make a natural tile here so that we can plant an oxyfern. Oh, not arbory corn. I need oxyfern seed. Rover batteries got their inspiration from Apple. Unchargeable? Feels bad, man. Feels bad when the batteries are unchargeable. Oh! Oh, you took a dump in here? Damn it, man. So it does drop out. And the water does not come out here. Cool. Should be good. This is somewhat ready. Pipeline is in. Nice. We could do that now. We got that pipeline in, so that's in. This is gone. This is nomadic. I gotta wait for that to be built. And then we could get the bed in. And then we gotta get the door. Oh, we can't do that yet. We gotta do the critter drop-off. All right. And then... We gotta wait for that to be finished building. Oh! No, he planted in the wrong spot. He planted in the wrong spot. Feels bad, man. Alright, I don't have any more wild pips, right? I would want to move them right now if I can. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, he's elderly. All right. Hopefully that's going to be okay. All right. Hopefully he moves them inside to the space for our module. Someone uproot this, please. Can someone uproot this? I need them to plant over here. Come on, we need this uprooted. Feels bad. No one's helping me out. Oh, look at the hugs. Let's go. And he hugs the eggs immediately. Did you guys know Mamba does this? If you hug Mamba, he starts hugging random things. I'm just kidding. He doesn't do that. That'd be amazing. Got tired of losing my pets to random things, so I found a mod that highlights them in the overlay. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Dude, I wish Mamba really did hug like that. That'd be amazing. Alright, Lumber's back on the menu, boys. Back up to 5,000 units. It's not going to be enough, though. Looks like my rad bolts are going to be suffering for a bit. Is is anyone? Oh, it's low priority. Oh, it's because all of my freaking meal wood is ahead of it. <laughs> I have to turn off the part of the mod that also highlights geysers. That's not bad. I wouldn't mind that. Yeah, eventually we're going to move down and have more multiple layers of arbor trees. Because we're going to have to do it on this level as well. But I can't do that yet until I'm ready to move my meta refinery into the room inside. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I'm thinking we could put the smart battery and stuff at the bottom. I wonder if I should do that. Wouldn't it be that bad. I would have a dedicated steam turbine drip to the bottom as well. That would make a lot of sense. And I think we would try to distribute where we drip the steam water. Actually, I wouldn't do a long pipe. I would have them all output at the top. That makes a lot of sense. 
and just have mesh tiles and then have it on a solid tile that it actually splashes on. Yeah, that could work. I think that could work. Okay. So the ethanol... It's probably not going to be enough still. But it's a start. Got the tree. And then we move the other pip, right? Hey, we got it! Oxyfern? Alright. Sweep that up. Alright, so that's good. This guy over here... We could do the wall toilet. And then I need a tile here. We'll have that be built. And then we'll go into this floor down. Alright. Got the four carpet tiles. Got that. That. Plastic ladder. Pipelines. And then that goes like this. Should be good. What's the mod called, if you don't mind? Alright. Having this done on all the spots is probably smart. Just to get things started. Make sure the dupes are not idle. That's a door. There we go. All right, while we have that there, let's set up the other floors. Oh, I don't need the rocket control station anymore. Yeah, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I just realized that. I actually don't need that anymore. It's just taking up space. That's good for now. Oh, that's the, the room I just built. Okay, cool. Ooh, I gotta take the steel. I gotta take the steel. So we gotta do the bare bones layouts for every one of the rooms, just because it's gonna be pretty simple to do. And we might as well set it up. Alright. Awaiting Oni. What a name. I would not think it would do or have those kind of features with a mod name like that. load twice because the mod manager oh feels bad i haven't used the mod manager yet i hope i'm not missing out but none of my mods have issues with updating all 
All right. All right, so these three, those three. Cool. So this one should... Oh, it's still waiting. It looks like I'm giving them too many jobs to do, which is fine. It's fine. But this room is technically ready. All right, so... This guy... This guy chillin'. And then this guy. One seed. And it's Oxifer. Nice. And then we could go back. Oh, map over. Oh, it's that's not the name. Oh, <laughs> That, that's literally you waiting for it. It's just called Map Overlay. Oh my god. I thought that was literally the name of the mod. It was called Awaiting Oni. I was like, that's a weird name, man. I see you over there, man. Alright. We moved one of the pips. I sh uh, He's gonna die. We'll just let him be. Well, I need to get my bed in here first. Not bad. Got our two rooms. Once we get that, it's a bedroom. Oh, no! Oh! It's a barracks. Ha! <laughs> I need to get a painting in here, dude. Holy crap. Uh... Oh, the sculpting block's not inside. Oh, that's kind of funny. I guess I could put the short sculpting block right here. Next to the oxyphern. I guess that's not too bad. Because we need that core item for this to be a bedroom. I had a problem with a few mods I uh, liked, so I ended up getting uh, it. Then I liked the interface, so I kept it. Oh, okay, okay. I see you over there. All right, so who wants the first house? If you guys are in the colony and you guys are in chat, we're passing out some houses. <laughs> so, do any of you guys want one of the new houses? Because we have one ready right now. Geek wants it. Alright, we'll give it a geek. Geek sleeps here now. This is a private bathroom for Geek. Not public. <laughs> we did it, boys. We got the bedroom washroom set up. Alright, Geek, do you want to have a private place to have your meals? Or do you want to eat in the cafeteria with everyone else? It's a big question. I could give you a meal table here if you like. If not, I give you something else. Oh, I don't have power inside. Ooh, hey man. I'm being real. We can't give you anything that costs power. There's no real way for us to funnel power inside. Can't brag? Okay, that's fair. That's fair. We give you a water cooler. Man, everything requires power. I gotta give you plants or something. Hmm. You want a private dining room? That's possible. Marble block. You want the marble block? I can't fit that anywhere, actually. It's too large. So I can't do that without sacrificing something. I can remove the plastic from the ceiling, but you get radiation sickness if you stand on that tile. I have no artifacts yet. 
I was thinking about giving you a pedestal and one of the canvases. Mr. Arrow Capital fella, how you doing though? How's the days today? How is the Tuesdays? And then I removed that. And then I put the large painting right here. Look at Geek, using your bathroom. <laughs> you gotta have the bathroom sometimes. Out of 1,500 people, I was one of two required to come to work today. Wow. Talk about bad luck, Mr. Arrow Capital Fellow. That sucks, man. That sucks. All right, pass it on to another bedroom. Anyone in chat would like to scoop it up? Oh, this one's ready. Nice. Anyone else in chat would like another bedroom? We got you guys. Oh, you want one, Mr. Arrow Capital Fellow? I got you, man. You gotta let me know. I want to confirm this first. But if you did want one, I got you. You want a private bedroom, but you want to eat in the cafeteria. Okay. We got you with that. So we'll probably give you the same setup as Geek. With the pedestal for the item of choice and the canvas for the extra decor. Nothing needs to be swept. So we just got to sculpt down and put a painting on there. Alright, so this is the Cthulhu bathroom. Private, private. Alright, so you got to watch the pip die, dude. Feels bad. Called, uh, you want the teapot. Oh, that means I have to find Russell's teapot. Dude, I better, I better get lucky. Russell's teapot, huh? Alright, alright. This one's somewhat ready. And then we got the bottom ones now. Dude, they're far from it. So, ladder here. Remove that, remove that. The pipelines are done at the bottom. So I could do our setup. That goes here. I'm also going to need the bin plus the critter drop off. So that we can move the pip into here. Who knows, man? Who knows? Sometimes I, I don't know if the game is... Because uh... honestly, I think the artifacts are random. Because if the terrestrial ones are, I would imagine that the, the other ones are as well. And since you get a larger number of the other ones, man. But maybe we'll get lucky this time. That seems fine. How many apps are you able to do? 12. I don't want to do more than that. Because I need rockets to beat the game. You want one of the mugs IRL. Dude, the mugs are not bad, man. The mugs are pretty cool. Wouldn't mind getting a mug myself. Alright. Got that built. 
Oh, that was this one. Okay, cool. Mr. Arrow Capital Fellow, did you want a room, dude? Are you there? I want the useless machine. Alright, alright. I could technically get doubles, so it should be fine if people choose the same thing. <laughs> that's that's a good that's a good one though. The useless machine? I see you over there. That one is good. It's weird that I built these faster than I built the other one. It feels like that shouldn't be the case. Wait, is there no gas here? Did I not build gas pipelines? Oh, not on this side, though. Oh, man. Alright, we're gonna move one of these to the left. Oh man. I didn't have pipeline on the left side yet. I mean right side yet. Big oof. So we need to add more oxygen into here. Sorry, still at work. Uh I was joking about wanting my own room, just lurking and listening to the podcast. Okay, gotcha, Mr. Ocabra fellow. No worries. Oh man. No worry, man. We'll have the O2. No worries, no worries. Should be alright. And once we fill up the rooms, we should be okay. It wouldn't need that much more oxygen anymore. Ooh, plastic. Oh, I don't need that. 86 tons. No one's a researcher. Come on, man. I don't even want the brine. Alright, cool, cool. Nine joyous seeds. What temperature is this? 26? Is there a 10 to 40? 10 to 30. Nah, that's too close. Blispers. Or the Mercy. So the decor is the same, right? Blispers. Explosion of decor. Okay. Let's get two blispers. And we'll have Mert seed on these. Just gotta get some decor plants. Y'all know what it is. And we'll alternate. Mirth, bliss, mirth. So, this doesn't do anything. There's actually no decor. Oh, no, there is. It's just that it's, uh... All the, the freaking pipes are bopping me. It feels bad. Have you played with the flower, flower pot... Flower pot glitch any. I've seen it. I've never really tried to do it though. I know what it is and how to do it, but I've never gone out of my way to actually do it. It's the one where you have the pit plant on a sand tile, right? And then you mine the sand tile and you have a flower pot underneath. That's the glitch I believe you're talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that I haven't uh, gone out of my way to do. So I know how to do it. I just... I don't know. I've never really thought about... How that's really that much better. I don't know if that makes sense. Wait a second. They're not being fed? Oh no! Okay, I gotta make this... I gotta get this finished. Uh... We got to do that. Mostly free meal lines. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not something that I feel like people should go out of their way for. Because it's, it's very just kind of like, like meh. The benefits are right. Uh, 
All right, so this room is ready. This room is still waiting, unfortunately. This one is somewhat ready. We're waiting for that tile so we could replace this. This is also gone. And then I guess we could build the statue right now. Oh, that's not it. I gotta build the tile there first. And then this should be pips. And one kilogram of oxyfern. Then go back into here. Oxyfern is good. This is the one I set up. Oh, that means this one is very far behind. Oh, it feels bad. We'll have to wait for that. Gotta build that. Oh, that's finished. Nice. Let's remove this. Tile, tile. Do the oxyferns cost liquid? No, they are not domesticated. If they were domesticated, it would it would be. But because I'm naturally planting them with a pip, it's free. So I don't have to water them. I don't have to feed them anything. And I'm really just doing it to get rid of the CO2. Because otherwise, I don't have a way of processing the CO2. And it's just going to float around. Eventually, it's going to, you know, fill it up and, you know, can't do anything about it. Man, I got to go listen to all those DDR songs now that I'm home. Dude, Ace Cat, were you listening, man? <laughs> Dude, it'd be like that, man. You got you to blast Cap Jack for us, man. You know what it is. You got to blast Cap Jack. Yo, Ace Cow, do you have the game? You should just play it, man. For the memes. <laughs> just do it for the memes. Wall toilet? Nice. Hey, deep fried nose band. Left, right. Dude, Captain Jack. Dude, that song. Man. I live on the top floor of my apartment building. Yo, man. The other people gotta know too. <laughs> the other people gotta know too, man. They gotta know about the DDR. They gotta bring it back. They gotta know, man. If you don't tell them, will they ever know? This guy's gonna die. We'll just leave him in here. Alright, so hopefully he goes into this room. Alright, alright. Ethanol is stacking up. Oh, and I have to uh, let the pit plant more arbor trees. I forgot about that. Alright, so this room is pretty much set. Let's put the Oxyfern in here. And then we will move this, because I think the pip just got put in right now. Nice. Deconstruct. 